the intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel today. Giving you an update on incursions, how it went for APAC now that it launched, and also how it's going so far on a US server where we currently have server 10 invading server 20. They got the first attack event, so we're just sitting here and uh, I've been raiding. That's actually what I... I've been raiding a lot. I am currently, what, 3 billion trip positive, 2 billion trip positive since this morning. So look at good, look at good. But yeah, you see server 10, the Galaxy Chat working mechanic wise. Everything's gonna be working for the most part. There are some issues here. I say most of the issues are pretty minor to be honest with you. Uh, some have been bad. Now I will say lag varies person to person. And honestly, if you're experiencing a specific problem, I would like to get those in the comment section so I can pass those up. Most of the feedback I've gotten has been generalized when it comes to things like lag. And what I mean by that is, you look at, say, the PvP events, which on server 20 so far for the defense, nobody's really doing for a couple of reasons. We'll talk about that in a second. Also, we'll talk about raiding and doing a fun little raid tip video here because I've enjoyed the heck out of raiding. So we're gonna go through a couple different things, but in terms of the game itself, it's working. We don't have mass server crashes, that's a positive. We have had a couple of reports of raiding being broken, which was happening last week, but not widespread, so that's good. Hopefully the servers are keeping up and everything is staying, for the most part, on point. Now, the only main complaints I can find really just come down to the events themselves, whether it's, you know, some people feel like it's alienating low level players, not really encouraging them to participate, or even to a point where earlier today, and I haven't tried it in a while, there was nobody even in Yoruba to participate in the PvP event, and those who were participating were reporting no scoring at all. Now, most scoring issues are generally going to be delayed scoring issues, but those are still incredibly annoying. But just the fact that nobody's participating in it. I'll be honest, if it wasn't for the rating aspect, I wouldn't be terribly active today either. But the rating aspect alone, where the shields no longer stay up, there's no 10 minute shield, I can just keep smashing through and get the loot that I need. I don't care if you're on server 10 or server 20, Rev's rating. That, that's what Rev is doing because things are expensive in the game. And you're like, well, Rev, why do you even need stuff? At high level, you get payouts. But when you start getting researchers that want 100, 200 million dilithium each, you start rating because I'm not spending that on a $100 pack. So that's part of it. Now, the second issue is rewards. Look at the rewards here. Now, keep in mind, I understand this is a six hour event. Still, one Uno shard, bleh. <laughs> I'm not excited about that. That does not make me want to go, wow, I really want to go out and PVP and spend all these resources. Now, here's a positive to me. The wins and losses are bracketed based around your level range. So you're not going to have, hopefully, a lot of Hegtas or Enterprise A's or Vorchas coming at you if you're my level, 42. I'm supposed to be fighting people in my range, you know, Kelvins, Katingas, ISS Jelly, Cerritos, etc. So that should, in theory, mean I finish or I find people, but what I'm not finding is players to participate in with this. Now the rating has gone over fine. The transfer is working well. So hey, the base mechanic, good, which it should work. And I've never understood the, the whole using that as a highlight because honestly, server transfers have existed for two years. So that copy and paste technology has already existed. But I am glad that we're not seeing the issues that we had last week with the APAC server. What I am just sadly noticing is that US is feeling very ripper about it or very meh. It's just like it's there, it's an event, but not a lot of people are doing anything. I am really loving the chats, by the way, just getting to meet new players and talk to cool people. That's been fun. I'm currently shielded in a low level system as I make this video, but there was one over here, but he left. Uh oh, he must be out raiding. So what I want to talk about with raiding is give a little bit of a tip for all of y'all out there. And we try to share many of these in our Discord, but all I want to do today is show you an example of me using a Bordis to crack a base. You're like, Rev, why the heck would you do that? Let me show you why. So I actually used two. I used my Saladin and my Bordis. And what I did here, let's just pull up this particular log. You can see this is coming at at the Enterprise and the Kelvin were almost dead. But using my Bordis with Rom, Honor Guard Warp, and Giorgio to take on big ships. Now, first off, you're asking, well, Rev, why the heck are you using Giorgio? Because I want it burning. The reason I want it burning is that 1% damage in the background that you can deal. Now that might not seem like it matters, but when you're going against a four-star ship, every bit helps. Now the Saladin is one I like a lot. The reason I switched to the Bordis is to make sure I focused on 
the Enterprise first. I wanted to get it down, so I was focusing on the Battle Triangle. Remember, in raiding, it does follow the Battle Triangle. So a battleship will target the Explorer first, and then an Interceptor will target a battleship, etc. So that's what we were working on here, and I was slowly whittling it down. Now, I'll also use the Bordis because more shots. You see, shots, shots, shots. So the Bordis actually fires each of its weapons once, which means with ROM, it's actually gonna fire each weapon twice at whatever target it's going after. So I may be able to get six shots, pretty decent damage with criticals. You see, I've got five of my six are criticals there. And if you combine them all together, getting pretty decent damage. Not as much as I would be getting if I was running Hull Breach or even my Saladin, but just showing you options because we all jump to the Saladin, which is fantastic with ROM on it as a base raider. I want to show the Bordas in action as well. But using this to punch up, this is a player higher level than me who was rocking a full set of ships when I started and then slowly whittling them down as we get through it. So you can see here, slowly, slowly going after the Enterprise and slowly whittling it down before I can finally, finally get the juice of the base. Now, this person is on my server. Many of you are going, well, Rev, why even raid them? Because you're not getting points for the event. Don't care, be completely honest with you. What I wanted more than anything was the resources because it's so expensive to live in this range. Let's say if I wanted to upgrade my Valdor, let's just say I wanted to upgrade it, which I guess I could. Look, 357 million trit for one piece. 357, 314. All right, we are officially over 1 billion. 142, 657, five, oh my goodness. Oh gosh, right around 3 billion tritanium, just go up to tier four. Good thing I just raided about 3 billion tritanium today. So yeah, all of that in, this makes it to where I'm wanting to focus on raiding. And I love the raiding aspect of this. I, I can't look or can't look forward enough to the uh, you know invading server 10. I'm waiting to invade for when my attack run actually starts. But invading in one, talking the galaxy chat, meeting new people, which is, uh, as I told you, I was that the primary thing for me I wanted to do. And then past that point, getting in and doing the raider. Definitely the infinite raider. You see, I've got some really baby points here, which is fine. But um, <laughs> server 10 is the invaders. They got a huge lead on that one. I'm hoping to offset that a little bit. Shout out to uh, whoever number one is with 93 billion though. Love it. I'm, I'm sitting there with 5 million points. So <laughs> that stinks. But <laughs> you can't, reason being is that the most person I was raiding was on my own server. You don't get points for that. You don't get points for that, but you will see that hopefully be the one that maybe you go after. Maybe you go after the damage dealer, or maybe you go after champion. If you really want to go after all the PVP wins and get that fancy champion and then 14 Una shards. Yeah, uh, not super excited with the amount of leaderboards this month, but I am excited about some of the opportunities. And I have had fun. And with raiding, the way that this game is set up incursions is I can raid a lot of people now. And I'm freaking excited about that. I can use this technique. I'm showing you the Sout of the Borish with Rom and Honor Guard Wharf and even throwing in you know, Gorkon for going full critical hull breach damage builds or Harrison, whatever I want to do. Because there's no 10 minute shield. There is no shielding to get away. You have to actually port to get away. Raiding is so nice right now. And I realize it's only for 24 hours. And I know there are people who don't enjoy raiding as much as me. But it's helped me get a lot of value for my game for what I need to do to upgrade things. Even if it's my amalgam, which can be pricey to upgrade, 58 million just to get my shields up for something I'm not even really doing right now. So just examples of the importance of raiding and how to go about it, some cool tricks. I will say, look, I'm glad that Incursion is working. If you're from the EU, hopefully you go off even better than US and APAC servers have the first two days. Can't wait to see how that plans out. The only real response I can have is that it's just kind of met in general. The rewards are lackluster, not really encouraging a lot of participation, but I think people are definitely curious about it and we're getting to see a lot of people move over and talk and definitely fun to see a lot of the people that I've seen in streams and everything. So that's what I think so far. I wanna know what y'all think, comment section down below as always. If you're having problems specifically, let me know so we can try to pass those up. The devs are wanting all feedback as quickly as possible because this is going to be something they will actually want. You know, they want incursions to be a long lasting tool that we're always playing with. So let me know what you think. Live long and prosper. Stay safe with those space cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Catch you on the next one. We outie. An even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house.